In this video, I want to go ahead and present the development of a causal loop diagram. What I want to do is I want to start with the first relationship map that we created uh, several lessons ago. And I, and I hope you this looks familiar because it was the, the first relationship model that we developed. And I want to use that in conjunction with the causal relationships that were established in the, the previous lecture and sort of merge the two of them to, to transform this this relationship map into a causal loop diagram. Now, I admit ahead of time that I'm actually cheating and that I'm doing it, I'm unfolding it to you as a as a story, and I haven't presented storytelling yet, though I, my hope is that this sort of whets your appetite for the next section, which will actually be about storytelling. So if we, the way that we developed this relationship map, we started with, the, a deadline and expected completion date, which produced a schedule gap, and, and that gap encourages working overtime, which improved the labor quantity, which reduced the expected completion date, and therefore reduced the schedule gap. So if we do this in the same way, only we use the notation for, um, that were the notations which were developed in the causal relationships lecture, we can begin the same way with an expected completion date, which we assume is longer than than the actual deadline for the project. So we have a, a schedule gap and that influences overtime, which influences labor quantity and the increased labor quantity should reduce the expected completion date, therefore reducing the schedule gap. So you remember that we talked about the way that you determine whether or not it's a balancing or a reinforcing loop is you go ahead and walk the loop and count the number of, of opposite or subtracts from influences. And if it is odd, then it is a balancing loop. Now, the way that this loop was identified here, we use the picture variable, the the picture element, and then we went ahead and added one of the built-in images so that Insight Maker provides images for balancing and reinforcing loop indicators. This is a clockwise, counterclockwise, reinforcing, clockwise and counterclockwise balancing. And these are when you haven't quite figured out what the loop is because you're uncertain of some of the influences. But by going ahead and, and simply selecting that, it will replace this. And then you can go ahead and label it as B2, B2, whatever. Though, if you recall, the, the indication was that all balancing loops are goal seeking so that you would you want to label it in such a way that you get an indication from the label itself what the loop is is doing and this particular loop is implementing overtime and we sequence them so that one knows how to to read the model now so let me go ahead and get rid of this so then from this this initial loop we then said well what else what are the other influences that come into play? And we said that overtime, after some delay, adds to fatigue. So the more overtime there is, the more likely it is to add to fatigue. And fatigue actually reduces the labor productivity. And the labor productivity should reduce the expected completion date. Though if we increase the fatigue, reducing the labor productivity, it increases the expected completion date, which actually moves us in the wrong direction. So if we walk this loop from from gap to overtime to delay, we have one um, opposite, two opposites. So there are an even number of opposites. So this is actually a reinf this loop is actually a reinforcing structure, and it's a fatigue delay reinforcing structure. So that that with some amount of delay, fatigue, actually it's a vicious loop that moves us in a direction that we actually don't want to go. If we continue this, 
we then said that the other alternative was to go ahead and the schedule gap encourages to add resources and a resource adds to the labor quantity which should then reduce the expected completion date therefore reducing the schedule gap and if we walk this loop we have a resource addition it's another balancing loop and continuing we said then said that adding resources also has a tendency to reduce the labor quantity initially because of the amount of effort that it takes to get them up to speed which if you reduce the labor quantity you increase the expected completion date and therefore the schedule gap gets larger and you're moving in the wrong direction so if you walk this loop from schedule gap to resources we have one opposite two opposites so it's an even number so this is again another reinforcing loop which is actually take us taking us in a direction that we don't want to go so what we have done is in these four steps we have changed this simple relationship map into an actual causal loop diagram which embodies a lot more information about the interactions because it gives us a sense of what the loops what uh, behavior emerges from the loops themselves and I said that this is provided as a as an unfold is a storytelling unfolding of this model and you can walk through this you can start over again and you can walk you can read the notes on the bottom of this as it's unfolded and get a sense of how the interactions are actually evolved now as I said before while this diagram may look complicated it's simply four simple loops interacting together so that it's simply growth and balancing loops interacting simultaneously which ends up is what makes it appear confusing though and if you simply provide the diagram to someone else without any notes or anything they probably find it a bit overwhelming though if you unfold it to them in a, in a as a story the story hangs together so that you look at the, the model much like you would consider a, a play and a play has actors and relationships between the actors and the, the story that the play presents is unfolded from act to act so you could think about the individual loops as being acts in the play and they all come together to tell a story about that set of interactions which is the real value of storytelling which I will spend more time talking about in the next section when I actually unfold the the storytelling options themselves for you now for the references or external resources for this particular lecture I've included a number of additional causal loop diagrams which are all presented as unfolding stories so that when you access them you can walk through them and read the descriptions to get a better feeling about causal loop diagrams and sort of how they hang together and hope you found this informative and in the next lecture you get an opportunity to create some causal loop diagrams of your own so i'll see you in the next video bye